Sunil Kumar, I have a few questions. Yeah, you have five questions. Ooh. How many week hours you spend to create YouTube content? Not a lot. I try not to spend too much time creating YouTube content. I've made so many videos, almost maybe 1700 videos that I've got better and faster at content. So I know what I want to make. I record and then I edit, bam, put it out. So it doesn't really take me a lot of time. I'm more minimalistic in my editing approach. So it doesn't take me a lot of time. If it's a big project like predicting an entire tournament, then I will put time into it. For this video, I'm putting time into it. It will take me about almost two hours to record and then I'll edit it and make it fun and put it out maybe in two parts. So, yeah. Not, I try not to put too much time into YouTube though. But I do spend a lot of time making the videos, but not a lot, a lot of time. You, you understand? It's not my job, so it's not like I'm like eight hours. But like when I'm at work, I do work on research. Like I'm there at work in the pickup and I'm researching, I'm writing things down. So realistically, I'm thinking about football like all the time. I'm watching, I'm researching, I'm brainstorming. But technically, or literally, not a lot of time, you know. Who encouraged or motivated you to start making YouTube videos? Well, no one encouraged me or anything. Um, to, but in terms of football videos, because I did have a channel before with me and my, my wife. We used to just make fun challenges and stuff. Wasn't really motivated by anyone. Or, but we did see a a couple making videos before and we were like yo we we should try that and we did but in terms of footballing videos the barcelona psg 6-1 game that's the first time i made video on youtube talking about football and that's what motivated me it got 10,000 views and i'm like oh man people interested in this stuff let me start talking about it more and that's how i started that's definitely how i started how has been the journey so far? Ah, it's been up and down. What is that? It's It's been up and down. That's my computer making noise. But it's been up and down, you know? It's been a tough journey. Because at first you start the journey, you're thinking like, yeah, it's going to be all smooth. You know, you're going to make videos people are gonna care people are gonna watch you know you're gonna get a lot of views you know you're gonna make money well not really the money part but you're gonna do well you're gonna do well but then you realize like what is going on here yeah and you realize there's more to it you know there's a there's a, there's a, there's a lot of things you have to just you know work out and you, you have to figure out and you know, you want to figure out how to package the, the thing properly. You, you know, you want your video to look good. You want your audio to sound better. And, you know, I've been through a lot in terms of trying to do that and trying to get things to just be a higher quality. And, you know, content-wise, and, you know, you want to cover tournaments. You know, I've covered, a, you know, Confederations Cup, a World Cup, two Gold Cups, Copa America, AFCON, you know, Champions League, a lot of tournaments. It's it's just been a it's been a rough journey. It's, it hasn't been an easy three years, and if people think I do this for money, <laughs> I'm gonna laugh because I have not been compensated well enough for this time. You know, but you have to be patient. It's a it, it's 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 you gotta be patient. It's a marathon got to be patient you got to do this for a while before you could start turning over profits you know I, i'm not doing this for profit i'm doing this for entertainment and i'm doing this for me this is keeping me from just going out there on the streets to hang out and you know i'm here i'm here talking to you guys about football so it, it, it has been a, a tricky journey so far. Seriously. There's been times where I'm trying to figure out how's my videos not doing well. 
how's this guy getting so many views and but then you realize like you don't know what he's doing you don't know how much time he's putting in you don't know who's sharing his content you don't know if he's you don't know if he's putting ads behind his stuff you don't know what he is doing you don't know what he she's doing you don't know who they know you know so maybe you might not be the same color as them so you just have to just chill and just you know take it one day at a time and just you know take it easy basically but yeah there's a lot of questions left so how much do you earn by your videos monthly you see you guys you guys want to know but um the months fluctuates it fluctuates you know what i mean according to how much you grind or what you talk about if you're relevant you could make it's up to you you know what i'm saying it's up to what you do it's up to the work you put in like for me some months like last year some months i made a hundred plus dollars most months i was making a hundred and almost like two hundred dollars a month two hundred dollars a month and then when i really ramped up and started grinding like summertime i made more and then it slowed back down again and then during the fall when you know like one football reached out to me and tried to give me a sponsorship and and i thought when they trying to give me the sponsorship i was like yo i'm gonna make some money here now i'm gonna make some this thing is finally gonna pay off for me and then they offered me like the is the, the money they offered me is like what the fuck? you know what i mean it's like this is a joke is this a joke or what are you serious you know so after that i was like nah nah nah, nah, nah. i'm going beast mode now so for the last three months I've, I've done better i've done better you know i've done better I've, I've made more money i changed up the strategy and thing and, and i made more money i ain't gonna lie i made more money i made like maybe for the last three months maybe two thousand plus combined which is nothing still but it's it's getting little money a little extra change in your pocket it's good you know what i'm saying it, it ain't bad you know what i'm saying like that's what some people from third world countries make the whole month you know doing their regular jobs so it ain't bad it ain't bad at all so i ain't gonna complain i'm not gonna complain it is what it is it's whatever not like i survive on this shit you know what i'm saying so <laughs> yeah you know what i mean so yeah five if you ever wanted to move to another country which country would it be and why if i have to move to another country and why damn right now I might have to say Canada, man. The girls up in Canada are fine as hell. And they have good health care up there. You know, so I'm I'm just saying, but I you know I won't be moving to Canada. You just you just saying if. And let's say if I move like I'm single and stuff, you know, the girls up there are nice, man. You know? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, um Canada. Canada's a nice place, you know? And maybe maybe further up north in the cold, in the wilderness, away from, away everything. from everything. So you could just have peace of mind and just chill, literally, up north. Yeah, but Canada, man, I've been there a few times and it's a nice place. I gotta go there this year, though. I gotta try going to Canada this year. But thanks for the questions. Okay, let us move on. Rafi Udin Galib. Would you take the Champions League trophy this year and never win a trophy for the next five years? Hell, Hell no. no! Hell no. No. Champions League, stay where you are if that's the case. That means not winning a Premier League for the next five years, bro? You gotta be kidding? No. 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 Okay, let us move on. That was an easy question. XD Van says, would you swap Raheem Sterling for Mo Salah? Hell yeah! 
I would. Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> Xander Cage. Hi, Dominic. I got two questions. Who do you think should win the US UCL this year? It's going to be Liverpool. I'm, I told you guys, Liverpool are the favorites. It's going to be Liverpool. Should Liverpool be considered as one of the best teams in the world just because they won the FIFA Club World Cup? Not really. Not really because they won the FIFA Club World Cup, but really, yeah, as well. You know, so not really and yeah. So the reason why not really because the FIFA Club World Cup is just a tournament with seven teams and maybe if other teams were in there, Liverpool wouldn't have won it. But then you have to consider the fact that in order to get there, they had to win first. Firstly, they had to play second in the Premier League to play to get in the Champions League. Then they won the Champions League in order to get to the Club World Cup so that they one of the best teams in England one of the best teams in Europe, the best team in Europe, I should say, and now they're the best team in the world. And then after they're done with that, they're still the best team in the world right now. Come on, just give them the props, man. It's that easy. Give it to them. They deserve it. They really deserve it. So, great question. Thank you. Michael Olapido. How has it been for you working and also making videos? I mean, how do you combine both? Will you... Will you want Liverpool to win the league title this season? Well, it's not what I want. It's what's going to happen. They're going to win the title. I don't want that. I'm a City fan. I want to win everything every single season. I want to do a Juventus in England. I want to do a PSG in England. I want to win everything every single year. How do I combine YouTube and life and work and everything? I just do everything at the same time. Like I work and I do YouTube in my head on paper and sometimes I take out the phone and make a quick video and then you know I, I get the work done too I get the work done I do it good then I come home and I you know I might whip up a video or I might go watch movies with the wife and the child and then you know I have other kids too one lives in another state the other one lives here in New York I pick her up on Fridays and you know we hang out and stuff and I talk I keep in touch with that's just how I do things you know cell phone connect stay connected all the time so great question Wong Kuok Kang hi Wong here from Malaysia have you been to the Etihad Stadium watching a Man City match no 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 have never been watching a Liverpool match at Anfield has been my biggest dream well Wong from Malaysia save your money go for it if you already have the money go for it it's gonna be worth it it's gonna be worth it okay my friend from England just sent me a a, a video of the Etihad and I'm like I gotta get there if not this year well if not this season next season I'm there remember I told you guys that I'm there thanks for the question man Manny can you say your world 11 of the decade or are you going to do a separate video on it? If you are, you don't have it to do it right now. Okay. Well, Manny, I don't have a world 11 of the decade and I'm not going to do one because I don't think I deserve to do one. I have not been like geeking out on football since 2010. Yes, the World Cup 2010. And then just before World Cup 2014, yeah, little club football here and there. World Cup 2014, and then I kind of disappeared a bit again, and then watched, you know, club football sporadically. And then since like 2016, I've been very consistent. So I don't think I qualify. I don't qualify to do one. All right. Sumayo Mandal. Do you think from a business and also a competitive perspective, the draft system and capscape space rules will have more effective in European football soccer as well? Personally, I feel this helps in identifying the best talents and more investment in scouting and also helps avoid the team 
to be more powerful than other teams just because they have rich owners. I am a Liverpool fan and I would like love to know what you think. To be honest, I don't understand the system too much, to be completely honest. But the draft system, yeah, you know, the rookies are out and maybe a, a team who will mostly get, you know, be up for relegation at the end of the season could get a, a better rookie to help them stay up. Yes, I like that idea, but... I don't think it's ever going to be done in Europe. The system isn't like that. The system isn't like that. It's not like the USA where the, the talent come through from like college and stuff like that. And, you know, they do drafts and it's not the same. I don't think it's going to work in, in, in Europe. It won't work. If the current system that they have isn't broke, I don't think they need to fix anything. They, they could tweak things, but they don't need to overhaul the thing. Teams just have to do better scouting. That's all. Teams have not Teams have got lazy in terms of scouting. They need to scout better. Simply put, when you got money, you get lazy. You don't want to look and find that needle in the haystack. You, you, you just want to say, hey, I got the money, I'm going to buy what I want. Like, yeah, that's what I want, I'm going to get what I want. While if you took the time to look, you could have got something even better or you could have got three for the price of one. You know, so that's my thoughts on it. I don't really understand, you know, the whole draft system and the cap space rules as well as you do. To be honest, I don't understand every single thing. I'm not, you know, I'm not God. <laughs> it's Irfan. Will you make videos on the Asian Champions League starting in a week or two? No, no Asian Champions League here. Fekal Jemai, would you swap Guardiola for clap at Manchester City? No. No. I'm happy with Guardiola. Liverpool, happy with clap. I'll take what I get. I'm not going to say, yo, I'm not disloyal like that. I'm not 100%, you know, happy with everything Guardiola has done this season. But again, you can't forget what he has done for the last two seasons. So I'm happy with Guardiola. He needs to work out and iron out his chinks and come better next season. Jemai says again, Liverpool winning and Manchester United losing to bottom of the table Watford the same week has to got has got to be one of the signs of the Reds. Yes, Liverpool are gonna win the title, no doubt about it. All the signs have materialized and you know shown us all that Liverpool are gonna win their first title after 30 years. Daniel Joseph. Oh, a few questions here. If you had to support a team outside of the top five leagues, who would it be and why? One or two reasons would be fine. A team outside the top five leagues, well, it would be, I, I already do support a team outside the top five leagues and that team is Dinamo Zagreb, you know? And that connection came from talking about Croatia during the World Cup. I, you know, I got a lot of Croatian followers on the channel and Dynamo is way outside the top five leagues and that's the reason why and I did cover the league a bit and I still talk about Dynamo Zagreb. The reason why I didn't really talk about Dynamo Zagreb a lot this season is because they were in the same group as Manchester City. But next season, hopefully, I'll get back on board in terms of talking about more Dynamo Zagreb stuff. Yeah. So mine would be, most likely be Ajax cause they're young and exciting and they could probably resonate with the younger me from the early 2000s. Very good choice, very good choice. Two, if finances wasn't a problem, i.e. unlimited cash or cash flow for a year, what would you do? Note, you can't keep the money nor invest or save the money. Well, what I would do for a year if the money was unlimited i would travel to every single country in the world i would travel and dabble in the culture of every single country in the world and when i say double i mean double i mean dabble okay 
I would dabble. I, I'm not going to go, go, go into details. But yes, every single country in the world, the 200 plus countries and territories all over the world, I'm in there. All the little islands, like in the Caribbean, in Asia, I'm there. Coast of Africa, I'm there. Up in Sweden and Norway, all them islands up there, I'm there. Over in Canada, Newfoundland, I'm there. Even if I have to spend a few days, the money's unlimited, I could fly for free, I'm there. I'll be exhausted and jet lagged, but I'm still gonna travel as much as I can. I, I wanna see the world. I'm gonna see the world and when the, the year is up, I'll just relax, you know? Or you, you say I can't invest it. Well, yeah, I travel, you know? I travel. <laughs> yeah, so great question. I like it. I would bring my family with me and travel all over the world. Go to Italy, Switzerland, Spain, and so on. You see, I didn't even read what you said. and We, we basically said the same thing. Spend two, three weeks at each place enjoying sightseeing, food, and we see. Oh, my God. I didn't... You, I didn't know that you were going to say the same thing, and you did. And you did. Obviously... Liverpool is one of the places I'd want to visit, but I want to go to Spain and Germany and explore. You can go to wherever you are in the world, man. Just save the money and go for it. Remember that. Johnny 10 Guns. What's your opinion of the Arsenal Fan TV incident with a faction of Arsenal fans who wanted to shut down AFTV? What do you think is the driving force behind it? I think the driving force behind it is just, man, you know... Maybe jealousy. Maybe people think like Robbie is exploiting the whole AFTV thing. Like maybe he's just exploiting Arsenal with the AFTV thing to, you know, to make money. And maybe fans don't like to see that. Maybe fans just get sick of seeing Robbie at the games. And after the games, interviewing people to put it up on YouTube to make money. There's people like that. There's people don't want to see you do what you do. If you're doing something legal, they don't want to see it. They just don't want it. They hate it and they're against it and they think it adversely affects the club because the fans say it does have a lot of influence and there's been a lot of influential people that has come out of AFTV. Robbie himself, DT, Troops, and, and so on and so on. So, yeah. People are going to be people. People are going to have differences in opinions and differences in outlook on the way they see things. So there's going to be people who are for it and they're going to be vocal about it or some won't be vocal about it. There's going to be some people who don't want to see it happen at all. They want it to shut down. They're going to be quiet, but there's going to be some people who are going to be vocal about it. And that's just the way I see it. They could do whatever they want. It's a, it's, you know, it's a free platform and I like what they do. So, why fight it down? It could happen to me too. So, I'm not, I'm for it. I'm definitely for it. Alan Gegu, Ge Jesus. Who would you have in your team? Messi or Ronaldo? It has to be Messi. To be honest, it has to be Messi. I like both players, but it has to be Messi. Why? I think Messi, oh, me I think just Messi, both are magical and everything, but I just think Messi could just, I think Messi impacts the game a bit more than Cristiano. You know what I'm saying? Cristiano wears his heart on his sleeve a bit more and could get a bit carried away and be more emotional. And Messi could just be all, you know, just take a pragmatic approach and just chill and then just explode out of the blue so yeah i it's a harder question but i'll just i'll take messy i'll take messy felix nunez what car do you drive on a daily basis and are you into cars do you have a dream car or favorite exotic car i drive a honda accord on a daily basis yeah i'm giving up my identity basically Guys, Google, look it, look me up. 
I drive a Honda Accord. I actually bought that car with my own money. So I'm proud of that and you know, that's mine. I, I don't have to make any car payments on that anymore. That is my car. So yeah, I'm not really into cars. I'm a mechanic, but I'm not into cars. It was never a passionate thing of mine. I do want to get a new vehicle, but I don't know what I want to get yet. I don't know. If I had money and I, if I had lots of money, I have some money. I work, I save my money. I'm responsible, but if I had money, I don't know. Maybe I'll drive something decent, a family vehicle, maybe like a Tesla or something, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> if I want to get fancy, yeah. Maybe. If I got money, I'll get a Tesla. Let's just say that. Thanks for the question. Thanks for the question. Favorite exotic car? I don't really have one. A Tesla's exotic? I'll get a Tesla. Modufal, what African country do you really want to visit one day and why? And hopefully you will consider visiting Senegal. What African countries I would want to visit one day and why? To be honest, now I think about it, I, I would actually... I would love to visit maybe Madagascar. It just seems so open and wild and free. You know, the people there have such long names. I don't have to remember anybody's names or anything. I can just go about my business, enjoy the wildlife, you know, the freedom. Madagascar sounds like a, you know, seems like a nice place to visit. I would like to visit all over Africa, but, you know, Madagascar seems nice and tranquil. Yeah? I would love to go to Senegal one day too, maybe. But Madagascar just seems more fitting. On one of the islands, you know what I'm saying? Like Comoros Islands or, you know, Sao Tome, Principe, one of those islands. Cape Verde. Yeah, I'm an island boy, so yeah. I'm attracted to islands. Juriel Ruben. Jeriel Ruben. Why did Leicester play to negative against City? Leicester were just outplayed against us. Simple. Outplayed. Wasn't negative. They were outplayed. They're capable of beating us, but they were just outplayed on that day. I can't even remember exactly what happened in, the, in that game. That was like so long ago. But thanks for the question. Few more questions left to answer. Soldado Abdi. Dom, do you think Chelsea and Lampard will continue using their youngsters coming to January transfer summer? Or do you think they will strengthen their squad by adding new players now that their transfer ban is overturned? Well... They want new players. We saw the, the winter transfer window came and went and Chelsea didn't bring in anybody. I think they're waiting for the summer. They don't just want to panic by because the transfer ban is lifted or whatnot. They want to look at the, what they want, they look at the options, how much they want to spend. They should have a lot of money, you know, saved up from not being able to spend across the last few seasons. And... They're gonna they they're gonna recruit and they're gonna reinforce their team come this summer 2020. So yeah, that's how I feel about the whole Chelsea situation. Neil Mansilla, what are your 2020 goals? What are what are your 2020 goals for you and the, the channel? Saludos from NYC. Goals for me on the channel, well, my goals are just to continue doing what I've been doing, you know, just being responsible, keeping my job, keep saving money, take care of my responsibilities, and, you know, just want to live a healthy lifestyle, lose some weight, and survive. Seriously, ain't nothing much, seriously. In terms of the channel, I already explained, and it's the same thing. It's just a day-by-day -day thing, you know what I mean? Day-by-day, 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 and keep going, you know, for however long it exists. The platform exists. Just keep going. I could see myself doing this 10 years from now. Seriously. Football question from the Arabic name guy. Do you think that the, the AFCON and the Gold Cup is much better to be held every four years instead of two years? 
Well, you got a point there. Yeah, maybe maybe it's a bit watered down that is held every two years. You know what I'm saying? And teams, I don't know. Maybe every two years is a bit too often. Seriously. I need to actually, oh man, I don't know why this thing went to sleep again. Yeah, maybe every two years is a bit too often and it gets watered down a bit. Like it's back again, like didn't we just have it the other day? It's back again. And maybe confederations should aim to have their competitions every four years and not every two years. Look at the Euros. You know what I'm saying? Like teams get a chance to rebuild and come again. In the case of AFCON and Gold Cup and even the Copa America, which is gonna be held every four years after this one, I think. Right? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. I can't remember right now, but every four years sounds about right. Two year thing is a bit too fast. It's like, oh man, it's back again. I don't mind, but still. It's, it needs to be held every four years. Non-football question. Will you consider quitting your job if you reach 1 million subscribers, hopefully? It depends. It depends. If I reach a million subscribers and it's like so profitable that I could actually afford to have my own... Well, well, if my wife's working, I won't need to have health insurance on my own. I'll just go on her package. Yeah, if I'm making a lot of money and I have a million subscribers, why go to work when I could stay home and make content and just stack up the money, invest the money? Yeah, I think I would consider quitting my job. Definitely. I was saying, I was kind of saying before that if I made a lot of money, I still won't quit my job. But if you're talking about a lot of money, like a lot of money, like hundreds of thousands of dollars, I quit the job. Seriously. Work is stressful. It is. Thank you very much for the question, though. Adam Opashich, man. What's up? Rake a fan. Hi, Dominic. I have two questions. Where do you go on holidays? And what is your honest opinion on the Croatian League? I already shared that. I think it's an okay league dominated by Dinamo Zagreb. Rake, Hajduk Split is still, you know, trying to be competitive. But it's a very, very weak league. It's not so competitive at all. It's like the top teams are like really good. And then it's like, I, I explained it earlier in the Q&A. If, if I do decide to split it in two, go back, check part one. But yeah, where do you go on holidays? I go to St. Vincent on holidays or before me and my wife went on a few cruises. But mostly I go to St. Vincent or I just stay home. Where do you go on holidays? Thanks for your answer. Thanks for replying. Yeah. So the last question. Oh, it's not a question. It says, cool, Dom. Thank you very much. I'm done. Woo. It took me two hours. Finally, I got it done. I got it done. I feel good. I really feel good. I poured my heart out. It could have been better. I think it could have been better. It's all off the top. I didn't write anything down. It could have been better. I really think it could have been better. What do you think? What do you think? Let me know down below. Thank you very much for watching this q and I, I think I'm going to hold off on the Q&As for a while. You guys are really going to leave your questions. I'm going to hold off on the Q&As for a while. Seriously. Ah, oh, man. That, that was a marathon. That was a marathon. 11.19, I think I got, I, I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm going to go up, spend a, maybe 45 minutes with my wife and then go to sleep. Thank you very much for watching this. I'll just, I, I thanks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, man. It's been real. It's been real. It's been real. And sorry that I took so long to make this video. But most of the questions, I should say, majority of the questions aged very, very, very well. So guys, Happy boy Dominic Rich. Thanks for watching this video. Peace out. Rich. Squaha. Wow.